What is going on everybody? In this video I'm going to show you a quick uh, rundown of maybe the two most important journal CTL or systemd log interaction uh, commands. These are the ones that I use just all the friggin time. You can see that I have an Nginx unit loaded here. It's a service uh, Nginx. You may be familiar with it. It's one of the most popular web servers there is. The typical ways that I would interact with this service, the two flags I almost always end up using is dash u, which is the actual unit I want to look at. Just journal CTL alone gives you all the logs. So we're going to look at a specific unit named Nginx, and that gives us the Nginx unit. More realistically, when you're debugging something, you're always going to, well, I'm, I tend to use fu. Uh, now, besides being hilarious, that is a good way to follow a specific unit. Um, so if I um, run that in here, and then I open a new tab and say sudo systemctl stop Nginx. Then in my first tab, you'll see Nginx stopping. Does that make sense? And if I then start it, so if I say, you know, sleep five and sudo system CTL start Nginx, I'm just gonna sleep for five seconds and then you should see it start here again. And there it is. So it's a nice way of just like tailing right it's 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 the systemd and journal ctl equivalent of a, an old school command you might have run like tail dash f var log my service you know log or whatever this is what you would have run back when everything was one non-binary non-intense file uh you know plain text like our wonderful like the founders of unix and linux intended but that's all just sort of jammed into the journal now, which is a bunch of different binary log files that you have less control over, let's say, than, uh, which can be a good thing and a bad thing, than, than individual plain text log files that services traditionally had. So that is how I, it's the most common one in my uh, shell history, certainly on remote machines. So. I hope that's useful and that gives you like one command that almost always is going to get you what you need for troubleshooting and you can just branch out from there. Always remember man journal CTL there's like a bazillion options in here so you can just look at those if you need more. Hope that's useful to those of you just looking for a very quick practical uh, just give me the command type of approach and always remember tell systemd and journal CTL otherwise known as journal cuddle to F you.